Um, in the common point philosophy, yeah, Winston knows about it. In my philosophy, are we going to do the uber cutes? Hang on, we get a photo op. Photo op. <laughs> in the common point philosophy, it is believed that we are all equal. I am no different than Winston. Winston's no different than me. I am just a little bit more advanced on on the evolutionary scale of life. Ooh, there we go. Um, but we're no different. We're, we're biological little creatures on this planet. And when you can when you can accept that and understand that, that we are all equal, then everything in life moves along really smoothly, okay? Um, one thing I cannot stand when I say to somebody, oh, I've got a pet bunny, they go, they say it. It's not an it. It's my bunny. It's Winston. Winston's no better than me. My huh, buddy. Although I'm sweating like crazy. And bunnies can't sweat like human beings, but they do get hot. So we got to be real careful. So, you know, what time are we? Here we get eight minutes into the video. We're going to get out of the camera. See? Look, see camera. See? It's over here. No. no. I'm going to talk about how we are all connected to source. You could call it energy, you could call it spirit, you could call it soul, you could call it um, whatever. But I call it source in my book. And we are connect. We are all connected to that, that source. Well, we're going to turn. Well, they don't want to see that side. They want to see the other side. I know. <laughs> Do I have to turn you around? I can turn you around. No, where are we going? <laughs> it's like doing a video with a young child. And there's this big ball of fluff in front of me. Right, hi baby. Hi, I love you. Yeah, you to love my bunny. Hang on, let's. We got it. We got to face the camera. Look, there. Ooh, there we go. Okay, we're better now. Um, so, I believe there's there's a there's a there's an energy or, or an essence or or um, I call it source. You know, I just named it sources. I don't want to get into the spiritual thing and all that kind of stuff. It's just source. And I can sit here, and if I want to, like late at night or in the evening, I can have Winston on my lap, or I can have Leo on my lap, or I can have him just near me, or I can be with him. And if you see, if you watch me right now as I'm petting Winston, he's closing his eyes. He's feeling, he's feeling my connection to him, okay? He's feeling that connection. He's going, that's my dad. I trust my dad. He's making a video of me so he can become a billionaire and I'm gonna get I'm gonna have a carrot ranch. <laughs> but anyway, source is in everything. It's in everything that exists. It's in Winston, it's in my hand, it's in this towel, it's where the carrots go. Ah. It's in the carrots. Okay. It's in everything. And if you can connect to that essence, like I'm doing right now, if I just close my eyes and I just think about Winston, he can't think about me, but he knows I'm there. He, he's got, he feels that connection that I'm there. He trusts me. Okay. And so when we do that, what we're doing is we're connecting to each other through source. The reason I brought this up is that's part of my philosophy, okay? And you can do that with many things. Um, if you watch my videos, I talk more and more about source and the connection to source. But the reason I'm doing this in this video is that's the benefit. That's the amazing, amazing benefit you get from having a pet or be connected to anything that's alive. And as I talk about in my book and in my philosophy, everything is alive. The curtain behind me is alive. The light that's on me is alive. The towel that went and sitting on is alive. Everything's moving, everything's alive, everything's in the present moment, okay? And so you can see Winston, he's just, he's just kind of chilling out. So okay, I trust my dad. It's no big deal. 
And we've built that trust, and that trust is built through source, through that connection, through that, through that emotional, that, that, that source connection. So because of that, it's really good. You can bring a pet. <laughs> you know, sweating and bunny hairs <laughs> are not a great combination. <laughs> but that's okay. I will suffer for my bunny. Where are we in the video there? Win win. We've got 12 minutes. <laughs> we want we want at least 15 minutes on the video because we've got more information we got to share. So, what I'm getting at is this. If you have a pet, people better serious pet owners, connect your pet on a source level. Connect, connect to your pet on a real organic level. Try I don't know how you grew up, I don't know how your family taught you, but I grew up on a farm. I grew up being very connected to animals. <laughs> I've got hairy palms. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> and a hairy nose. So, I mean, I had horses, we had cows, we had chickens, we had pigs, we had all that. My dad literally had a, a pet pig and he named him Porkchop. And he would run around the farm all the time. But I learned early on as a child that, that connection to, to living things. And it had a lot to do with the design of my philosophy because it's that connection to living things. So <clears throat> what I'm getting at is this. I want you to, if you haven't had that, if you don't know, that, haven't felt that, that connection to, to, to a live animal, to a pet, to a bunny, cat or a dog. It's that source connection. And so, in ending this video, it's not an it. It's not a thing. It's not an object you get your kids as a learning tool to be responsible. Be responsible. It's a live animal and it's equal. Winston is equal to me. Vice versa. He is no better than I am, okay? He's fuzzier. <laughs> he's fuzzier, but he's no better. We're equal. And when we understand that, when Winston and I have that bond, have that understanding that we are equal, that I'm not better, I'm not, you're, you're not serving me as a pet, you're equal to me as a pet, you give to me, I give back, we have that mutual agreement that, mutual, that it's it's not even something we we can't talk to each other because he can't talk to me, but he does talk to me. He does talk to me in my language, but he does talk to me in bunny language. Okay, and I can talk to him. We can connect. And we're shedding, Winston. You're getting warm because it's hot in here. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna, ah! We're gonna say goodbye. Okay. Guys, thank you so much. This is Winston. That's Winston. And it's me, John Tenuto. Yeah, you saying goodbye to everybody? See, he's saying goodbye to you guys. I love my bunny. My bunny loves me. Oh my goodness. And they do that. They rear up on their hind legs and they're just looking around what's going on. Anyway, if you want to get more involved on this video, my head might be cut up, but that's okay. Who needs a top of the head anyway? Um, if you want to get more involved with the common point philosophy, leave a comment. I'm sorry, I'm blocking you, baby. Um, leave a comment in the comment section because I am going to build a retreat. And I've talked about this a million times. I'm going to start a drive to, to raise money. I'm going to try to get YouTube on whatever I can do. Maybe a GoFundMe. We're going to do whatever we can do to build a retreat. Because in that retreat, I'm going to have a bunny exhibit. It's not going to be an exhibit. It's going to be a bunny world. It's going to be a spot like an arboretum when you walk in. And there's going to be bunnies. There's going to be butterflies. There's going to be koi fish, you know, swimming through. And it's going to be a meditation place or an immersion space where you can go and just 
get out of the hectic world and just be with nature and be be with live elements, live things. And here's another thing. Get a pet. Get a pet. You will live longer. You'll feel better. If you're lonely, you'll have someone you can talk to. You can share your deep, dark secrets with your pet, and nobody's going to say anything. They're not going to rat you out. Ooh, rat. I should have said rat. <laughs> that wasn't good. I don't like the word rat, Dad. I'm not a rat. I'm a bunny. I'm a bunny. What the heck? What's wrong with you? <laughs> See? He understands me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We got to go, Winston. When and when we got to go. I love you guys. We're going to say goodbye. Get a pet. Also, before you go, <laughs> before you go to a pet store to get a pet and spend $500, go, go to the local pound and see if you can get a pet from there. Save a bunny, save a puppy, save a kitten, save a dog, go to the local pound and get a pet, okay? And they will teach you patience. They will teach you resilience. They will teach you love and caring. They will give you a hairy face, but it's all worth it. We gotta go. Anyway, find out more about Find out more about my philosophy. Uh, read more about it in, uh, on my on my on my YouTube channel. And if you'd like to get involved with building utopia, if you'd like to get involved with the philosophy, the compound philosophy, it's all about being connected to nature, be connected to source, being connected to an organic world. If you want to know more about it, contact me, DM me, email me. You can email me a common point email at AOL.com. I will try my best to get back to you. Or you can just <clears throat> leave a comment in the comment section. Dad drank too much coffee. Burp. <laughs> Burp. We got to go. All right. We got to say goodbye. Say goodbye. We, didn't we do that earlier? We said goodbye before? We did. We did. I know. I love my bonus. Say goodbye, Winston. Over here. Ah. We... We're going to say goodbye. Say goodbye, Winston. Nah, I don't want to say goodbye. I don't care. There we go. Oh, we're leaving. Okay. You don't want to say goodbye again? Okay. Bye, guys. There we go. <laughs> we're on hind legs. Bye, guys. See ya. Bye. <laughs> ah, shut off the camera. Shut off the camera. Oh, I, I love you. I know I love you, too. Yeah, yeah. We're almost done. We're, we're almost done. Say goodbye.